In this demonstration, we will make a minor edit to a style sheet in order to demonstrate some fundamental XSL editing topics. In this example, we will edit a geometry report. So we'll look at that report by going to Tools, XML Reports, Geometry. And the report that we're going to be editing is the list coordinate points that lists out all the Kogo points, um, names, and data. So we'll run a report on all of our Kogo points and hit Apply. When we go to the list coordinates.xsl, this is a very common uh, report editing question that comes into us here at the support desk. And what we'll, what most users want to do is switch this last column over here from style to description. So we'll do that by editing the XSL. But first, let's go look at the raw XML to see how the data is stored. And to do that, we'll go to the bottom of the report browser where there's the raw XML.xsl file. And we can see here that every Kogo point is stored under a category Kogo point, and every Kogo point is listed as a geometry point with every attribute for that geometry point stored. So here's the name attribute, here's the description attribute, and here's the style attribute. So we'll see in the XSL how the style is currently being called out and how we want to change that to description. And what I mainly want to see here is that style is on the same level as description. They are both um, children or they're both underneath the category geometry point. So to edit the XSL, I'll first browse um, to the XSL file, which is in C drive, the delivery location of Program Files Bentley. And it's in the geometry folder. I'm going to edit this in Notepad, so I'm going to right click and I have an option to send to Notepad. And this is the XSL sheet. It's all HTML based, so it's all ASCII based. And what we can do is uh, just looking at the form of this XSL sheet, we'll see um, that it puts out a report title. We don't want to mess with that. If we go down here, we can see the for each geometry project it's going to put out some heading information here for each geometry project and we don't want to mess with that heading information either now we get into uh, for each horizontal alignment it's going to start putting out um, some data here and these are table headers here the TH is table header so it's going to put point type northern easting elevation and style so the first thing I want to do is change that to description for the table header. And then below we see for each Kogo point. We're actually going to put um, another table header for each Kogo point. We're going to change these table headers as well. And then the actual data comes in as table data, TD. And uh, it is pointing to style. All we have to do is change it to description. You can see the uh, it's going to print out value of select equal at means that it's going to be one of those attributes that was stored on the geometry point. So geometry point, the attribute is going to be description. And we have to do this for um, this ending element as well. We can see uh, for these point of endings, they call that out separately as well, so we're going to change it there as well. Now all we have to do is save our style sheet, go back to the report browser, and then go back to the style sheet in the geometry folder. The list coordinates report. Now we can see that our column has changed to description. 